guys what's up welcome back to my channel it's me file today's look is inspired by none other than Sansa Stark Sophie Turner um, I loved 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 her makeup look it was so simple yet so edgy also before we get into the video this is mostly makeup that I am recreating I can't really do the hair with all the glitter and stuff anyway so let's go ahead and recreate her makeup look before we get into the video though make sure you subscribe to my channel okay so I have nothing means nothing on my face um, I have woken up washed my face so I am going to be spraying my face with the Mario Badescu um, rose water Okay, so let's talk a little bit about her makeup that she had. So as you can see in the picture, um, smoky eye, she has no false lashes at all. Um, it's just like very spidery, thick coated mascara. Her eyebrows are not crazy bold, so in this tutorial I'm going to keep my brows very very natural looking. Her face is just dewy without too much of heavy contouring. She has a little bit of blush thing going on and her lips are literally like you can see in the picture just a gloss like a clear freaking gloss and that's why her eyes are literally the statement so today I'm going to be using the NYX swear by it palette and the misunderstood ColourPop palette now I didn't have the exact same blue like the icy blue glitter that she has on top and I'm not about to like go and buy myself another eyeshadow palette I literally bought like six eyeshadow palettes and none of the eyeshadow palettes have that exact same like blue and um, also I don't buy a lot of cool tone palettes um, that's probably why I'm having such a difficult time finding that exact blue but this comes closest to her eye thing I'm going to be using this dark like blue I'm just showing you this so that I don't keep like picking up the palette and from this I kind of mix a little bit of Jet Sam which is again that teal blue thing here so yeah I mix and match these two palettes and kind of come close to the color that she has now you need a scotch tape put that on the back of your wrist and peel off that way you're not putting the entire glue thing on your eyes um, and you kind of want to leave a little room here and put it to the end of your brow and the same thing on this side because if you put it too straight like this that little edge ain't gonna happen I am going to be taking a flat brush um, not a fluffy brush because I am going to be packing the color so I'm picking up that midnight blue so closer to the lash line I'm going to pack and pat the color make this line like when you open your eyes you want to you don't want it to go up because she had again you see the picture she has a very very clean edge like it's not smoked out it's none of that it's like a very clear line so whatever your eye shape is you're just going to outline it and then color the inside now the end you're just going to drag it out like that now I'm going to be taking the teal from here in my finger. I'm just going to press it from my inner corner to my mid. Whatever is getting wiped off, we'll work on that later. Picking that Jet Slam is more like a foiled glitter. So it will show up a little more. The smoked out color, taking a tiny little brush and packing this color where everything has come off so now I am taking another flat brush dipping into the same midnight blue you want to pack more of the color on the outer corner and just like whatever is left on the brush you want to drag that inside but let's just do the face and then get back to the eyes okay and now I have to go and wash her makeup is super dewy. I'm going to go in with the watermelon juice and just use that all over my face. Now I'm going in with the My Glam Tinted Perfection using a little bit around my T-zone so everything just like blurs out. 
Since our skin is really dewy, I am going to spray a little bit of the continuous setting spray. All the dewiness that I can get. I'm going to use like a foundation. You guys can absolutely go ahead and use a foundation now after prepping your skin so much. I am going to use um, the concealer. And this is like a very dewy concealer. It's not thick. It's none of that. So like all my other concealers I feel are like so so matte and like full coverage, I think this is perfect. So I think I need a little more of the coverage. I am going in with my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. I'm in the shade NW30. For my under eyes, I'm going in with the banana powder here. I'm using the Tardius Pro and just bronzing a little bit. I mean, I'm not going to go crazy with it. So her blush in the picture you can see here is pretty prominent, so I'm going to stamp it. And I'm using a little bit extra for you guys to see because um, camera doesn't pick up like super light makeup, so yeah. Like I'm literally doing the most natural brows I probably can in my entire life. Nothing too defined, just filling in the sparse, which is a lot of sparse because my brows are bald. Now I'm gonna set the hair in place because she had a little bit of like high hair. I guess so I'm using the ready set brow from Benefit. Now let's get back to the eyes. Taking the lighter color, um, which is that teal blue from the color pop palette. Putting it in my inner corner. I'm gonna take the Smashbox Crystal Drops. This is what it looks like. Shake it, open it, use the dropper, pump out a little bit. Take a flat brush, dip it in it, and start from like the inner corner and press it. Onto your eye. I feel like this just gives you a little extra glow though it's like not perfectly her color but this is all i have for the lips look at her picture again um i really don't think her lips are lined at all like she has just a gloss so in the simplest gloss that i could find was the fenty bomb now let's quickly do the lashes and you want to do like a heavy coat of mascara because she is not wearing false lashes. Just like this very subtle highlighter. So let me just do very light, like very, very light. I mean the lightest. I don't know if that is a thing. So I'm just going into this. Like the eyes are so bold. If you do crazy highlighter and stuff, you might just end up looking like a bar dancer. Let's do some misting. Let's do something to the hair. Okay. Because she had very Winterfell glitter hair. Since I don't have glitter, I'm going to do white. Because this is recreating a look, we're just going to play with it. Alright guys, this is my complete look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Um, if I had my way, I would probably use different colors for my eyes. I will do a IGTV video doing the same kind of eyes, but just different colors, which is more wearable. I just feel like cool tones just don't do anything to my face but I mean this was um, Sophie Turner inspired Met Gala makeup look so I think this turned out pretty good I don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below um, I would really appreciate that and if you guys try any of the looks please 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 tag me I would love to share all the looks on my stories so in case you do recreate 
this look, please tag me so I can share it on my story on Instagram. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, please go and follow me. I'll leave the handle right here. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.